Everyone by now knows about ChatGPT, but what if I told you there's something better? It's called AutoGPT. Well, what if I told you there's something better than that? In this video, I'll show you how these tools can 100x your productivity, possibly even more. I'm not even joking, this technology is absolutely insane. The main problem with ChatGPT is that you have to manually enter any additions or revisions you want after the initial prompt. Say, for example, you want a ChatGPT to create a website for you, well, after the initial prompt, ChatGPT would create some files. You copy those files to your machine and run the website. And it may work, but things might not be exactly right or how you want them. So you go back to ChatGPT, you ask for some changes, then it generates new files, you copy them, and so on and so forth. I mean, still, this is pretty great. You're just telling a machine what you want and it's giving it to you. That's already amazing. But let's see how that can be improved. Enter AutoGPT. It already has over 100,000 stars on GitHub. For reference, Facebook's React front-end library has about 210,000, which has been around for years while AutoGPT became this popular in about a month. With AutoGPT, all you need to do is enter your initial goal for the AI. Then it will begin to take continuous actions until it completes your goal. Let's see the demo. Okay, this is the demo for AutoGPT. It's showcasing the AI's learning ability by asking it to research information about itself. The program's first step is to use Google to find relevant websites to what it's researching. On the right is the output of AutoGPT. On the left is the text file it uses for memory. So now the AI found the GitHub repository. It's opening it up for analysis. It's actually analyzing the web page live. After scanning the website's contents, it has summarized them and it will now place them in the AutoGPT text file. We have open. As we can see, AutoGPT can teach itself about different topics using the internet, allowing it to have a better understanding of the current world than ChatGPT. Pretty amazing. It also has a ton of configuration options. It has speak mode, which lets you use text to speech. It has continuous mode, which lets it go automated no matter what. It has self feedback mode, which provides feedback for its own actions. GPT 3.5 only mode, which is cheaper, GPT 4 mode, and you could also disable command categories. The only real drawback is that it takes some setup where you have to download some files and make sure the configuration is correct, run things correctly, etc. But let's see an alternative that requires absolutely no setup to use, Agent GPT. The beauty of Agent GPT is that it can run entirely in your web browser. It will add tasks to its task list on the right hand side and continuously work to resolve them. Due to costs, unfortunately, they've had to disable the web search. So on that front, AutoGPT is better. However, for non-programmers or non-tech savvy people, this user interface is much more accessible. You just enter it in your browser and you're good to go. Okay, finally, there's God mode. This one is similar to Agent GPT. It runs in your browser. And so first it starts out by giving you a task list and you can choose which tasks you want. And then it starts performing. And for every action it does, the AI gives you its result, thoughts, reasoning, and proposed action. And what's cool is you can optionally give it feedback to take it into another direction. For every proposed action, it asks you to approve the plan and continue. And it seems that web searches are still enabled for God mode so far. And I think the ability to give feedback is a really nice touch that could improve the output. To summarize, use ChatGPT when you have tasks that don't require a back and forth. Use AutoGPT when you want to completely automate and customize a difficult task. And if you have some technical skill, Use Agent GPT when you want an easy way to have an AI continuously work for you without web searches for now. Use God mode when you want an easy way to have an AI work for you where you approve each of its proposed actions. Use that subscribe button for more videos like this one and smash that like button.